morning here. Good morning, everybody. Um, we are uh, shaping some nutcracker heads today with Veriform plastic, which we get from Douglas and Sturgis in California. And every now and then we get an email asking how it works. It's so easy. You just heat it up. Um, so we're just shaping some Nutcracker Man heads today. And uh, I wanted to show you how easy this product is. So I've got my mold, which I've covered in plastic. And I always stick a little bit of it on whatever plastic we're using because we found that some grocery bags it sticks to. And so I've got my Nutcracker Man mold and my sheet of Veriform. And we kind of pre-measure to figure out how much we need. But I do like to kind of know where the middle of it is. So I'm just roughly gonna sharpie on the middle or where my guy's nose is gonna go. And then I've got a turkey roasting oven with some like not quite boiling water, but pretty hot. And if you get the water too hot when you submerge your plastic, you'll see that the glue all just slides right off. So you don't wanna get it too hot, but I'm gonna stick this in here. And the more I, the longer I hold it in here, the more flexible it gets and it starts to grow. And even if it starts to stick to itself, um, it'll pull back apart. Now I don't wanna do my whole piece of plastic cause I'm gonna just start on the front of the guy's face. So I'm gonna take it out and it's really flexible. It's almost like, like fabric. And I'm gonna line my landing strip up here, my center line, and I'm gonna just kinda start finessing it around the front of his face. And the nose on this is the trickiest thing because it's got uh, cuts around, you know, there's more angles around it. But I do know from having done this mold a bunch of times that we're gonna put a little tiny crease at the top of his nose to get it to fit into the top of his nose. And then I'm gonna just kind of tentatively get the bottom of the nose in. But you can see it's already starting to take shape. And then we're gonna just kind of keep dipping it until we can address all the different sections of it. And then when it's all done, we're gonna let it completely cool. And then we will um, tie uh, we will finish the bottom edge actually with some felt strips. We're going to just fold felt over the edge of it and we're going to trim away everything that we don't need. So, and even the little scraps that you end up wasting, um, the little leftover bits, you can even just reheat and stretch them out and they're still good to use for other stuff. So save the scraps and then when you start to get shapes set in there, um, you can just start to tie them down uh, so that they don't come unmolded. So we're gonna still finesse the stuff around his nose and get rid of some of those wrinkles. But I'm gonna tie it with a ribbon or a string so that as I'm working, I don't start to lose the nose. And of course, I can't tie a bow while I'm being recorded, you know? Murphy's Law. So basically that's it. So we just keep heating it and working our way around until we get it shaped. And then the last thing that we're doing is taking a piece of felt uh, and carefully hot gluing it around the bottom edge so the performer doesn't have these spiky things at the bottom. Then you can build your hat on top of that. And then um, we, we usually leave the back open because it's an easy way to adjust the size of the head. So if you have a smaller person or you want a wider head, then we just heat up a strip of the same thermoplastic and stick it up the back. And then um, we just build our hat and eyes and stuff from there. And we even made ourselves a mold for the mouth. So we'll build all of our Nutcracker guy out of that. Thanks, later today we're gonna make a sleeve. That's it.